In this Back to Basics video, we'll remind ourselves how magnets work. Remember that the red end of the magnet is the North Pole and the blue end is the South Pole. Magnetism is not something that you can see, but it is a force that you can detect. Take two magnets and bring the north ends towards each other. You can feel the force of repulsion. So, like poles repel. Let us see what happens if we bring a north and south pole towards each other. They attract, so unlike poles attract. There are two types of magnets. Permanent magnet, electromagnet. Permanent magnets are common and are made of iron, cobalt and nickel alloys. Electromagnets are temporary magnets. Around any conductor that has a current flowing through it, there is a magnetic field. Switch off the current and the magnetic field disappears. If we take a bar magnet and place a piece of paper over it and sprinkle iron filings over the top, we can see the magnetic field lines. A magnetic field can be defined as a region in which a particle with magnetic properties experiences a force and in which a moving charge experiences a force. Another way to detect the magnetic field around magnets is to place plotting compasses around the bar magnet. Notice that the compasses point in the direction of the North Pole. It can be shown that the field lines run from north to south. That is convention. When drawing field lines to represent the magnetic field, these lines are called lines of flux. Note when drawing field lines that the lines are closest at the poles. They do not touch each other. The arrow shows the direction of the force of a magnetic particle will experience and run from north to south. The spacing between the lines of flux tells you about the strength of field. As the lines get closer together, the field becomes stronger, for example, near the poles. Magnetic field strength symbol is B and is measured in Tesla symbol T. One Tesla, one T, is defined as the field intensity generating one Newton N of force per ampere A of current per meter of conductor. T equals newtons per ampere per meter or equals to kilograms per second squared per ampere. If that sounds complicated, don't worry. A Tesla is simply a unit to measure the strength of a magnet. One Tesla is said to be a very strong magnet in fact, some of the strongest magnets in the world only have two or three Teslas of strength.